Welcome to the last video of 2023. I can't believe the year's gone so quickly. There's so many amazing events and so many great memories and new friendships started and old friendships rekindled. I just wanted to start this off by really saying thank you to the artists that have made Anticus what it is, to Dennis Doyle, who's helped build this entire gallery into what it is, to I wish I could name every artist by name and all the artists who are planning to work with us in this coming year, thank you. To all the collectors, because art without an audience isn't worth anything. And really, it's you that has made Anticus exist. And so thank you so much. Thank you to Jim and Marilyn Dean and their family uh, for all their support and helping Anticus come to be um, right from the ground up. And, and to the staff here at Anticus. Um, both the ones who have moved on to new adventures and those who are still part of the team, thank you because you have left your imprint on Anticus and we appreciate you so much. And um, your creativity, your brains, and everybody part of the team now, thank you. Um, there's just so much that we're grateful for. And I'm very excited about what the next year is going to be holding in store. I want to take this opportunity to kind of reminisce a little bit. and. My newest, or the piece you saw me working on this year, The Lost in the Pages, is something we're gonna show you here in just a second. Just a video that Mark Bork put together, and just a beautiful video that the team made for that. As well as, um, um, there's a couple of really great events. There's two trunk shows in the month of December. So some really beautiful jewelry we've curated uh, with Beth Benowich and Uno to 50, and some new Rachel Nathan coming in as well. And then we've got uh, a, a great, great, meaningful event with Seth Gordon. So make sure you check all those things out. Here's the video. When was the last time you read a book and became lost in the pages? It's magical, isn't it? Before you know it, two hours have passed as though it was only five minutes. Anticus Fine Art Gallery presents Philip Payne's latest bronze. So here she is, reclining on an Ames chair. The woman is unaware of the world around her. This is her time, her moment to be lost in the pages. So as I was conceptualizing this piece, I really wanted to celebrate the contribution of women in literature, like having a woman's voice heard, and it's called, but it's called the mother tongue for a reason. That's the language of the heart, and I just admire so much that we have women's voices being heard today. And you know, as this woman sitting here on this Eames chair, reading the book, and then that page draping over her leg, like to comfort her, you know. I, that's really the concept of being lost in the pages. And I wanted this piece to, I wanted us all to see ourselves. You too can experience this beautiful limited edition bronze. Call or visit us today at Anticus Fine Art Gallery in Old Town, Scottsdale. I think that piece is, is so special to me because it, it really does combine my love of art and books. Um, as you know, we have three book clubs here in the gallery, so make sure you look at the dates for the book clubs that are coming up. And that, now we've got um, the trunk show I wanted to tell you a little bit about. We handpicked almost 100 pieces uh, from Uno to 50, and they come, if you buy a couple of them, uh, it comes with a gift with purchase. So these really beautiful items that you can only get at this season um, when, you're, when you're supporting a trunk show. Um, they're really neat. And then we've got uh, Beth Benowich comes up on December 14th. She'll be in the gallery, and so she's a local designer, jewelry designer, and just beautiful work. And getting to hear how she's come up with these different techniques, like the lace that she uses, or, or her cast pieces, it's, she, she's fantastic. And then um, I wanted to share a little more info, so here's, here's another clip on what Seth Gordon um, is going to be unveiling, a, a little sneak peek. So check this out. I want to discover making a connection with people through my art. 
I like to paint things that are important to people, things that create an emotional connection as soon as they're looking at them, uh, portraits that are looking back at you when you look at them, iconography, icons, things that create emotional responses in us, things that people just have an immediate connection with when they look at. The figure of Jesus is probably the biggest icon there is. Uh, regardless of what you think about Jesus or what your perceptions on Jesus are, you recognize our, our popular perception of what this person looks like. And most people have a really uh, strong set of feelings about or feel a connection to in different ways. Jesus here in Transfiguratio, this is a representation of two different modes of existence for Jesus. And it also reflects two different modes of existence for us. And so I've portrayed Jesus not as just a historical character, but as the archetype of someone who's living a physical existence as a person, but also is a spiritual being at the same time. And so here I've represented the physical realm, everything that's earthly is represented in conventional acrylic painting. But then I've used iridescent media to represent the glow and the glory of everything that's in the spiritual realm. What I'm trying to represent here is a dual existence, essentially in two different uh, dimensional states of existence. And so the geometric breakup is to indicate uh, the ability to perceive through and perceive something that's existing in two different dimensions at the same time. Transfiguratio is what I consider to be my, my flagship uh, piece of work. This is my masterpiece to date because it represents a, a bridging between the icons and iconography and the really important universal storytelling that's going to be more heavily featured in my future work. So, I mean, you can see why we love our artists. They, they're so creative and their, their goal is really to connect through, with people through their art. And yeah, it's just, it's gonna be a wonderful month of December. We know you're all very busy. And if you're not able to make it in for the trunk shows or for the events, feel free to shop online. We've been working really hard to get the website up to date where you can use that to take care of your needs and to stay in touch and stay connected with the Anticus family here. Once again, we just want to say thank you so much. We hope you have a wonderful end to your year, a wonderful beginning to next year, and we hope we get to be a part of your 2024. We'll see you soon.